What's happening people? I'm Joey Essex and I'm with Six Silk. And this story is the most craziest 24 hours of my life. It was a nice summer's day. I'm in Essex, right? I've got the hose out. So I get the hose, walk over to my palm trees. All of a sudden, coconuts started growing from the top of the palm tree. But they don't even grow coconuts. So I, then I realized they was actually berries. And the most bizarre thing happened I've ever seen in my life. Buzz Lightyear started flying around in front of me above my pool in my garden. And I just thought to myself, Buzz Lightyear ain't real. It's not, it's not a real story, but it's Toy Story. And they were toys and it's a story. And then I actually understood that it was a life-size Buzz Lightyear balloon that was just, for some reason, someone had let go of and it flew into my garden while I was watering my palm trees, looking at coconuts to realise those berries, what is actually going on. My friend comes around my house and says, do you want to go for a walk? I tell him about the Buzz Lightyear situation. His head literally just fell off. I mean, he picked it back up and put it back on, but I mean, his head didn't really fall off, but you know, you know what I'm saying. I said to my mate, do you believe in Peter Pan? And he said to me, well, I am Peter Pan. And I said, but Peter Pan ain't real. He said, well, of course Peter Pan's real. Peter Pan's the man who never grew up. And I said, but I've never grew up. He said, well, we're both Peter Penn. And I said, who's Peter Penn? He said, I don't know. And then I was like, is there such thing as Peter Penn? He told me that Buzz Lightyear is real and he reckons I actually see Buzz Lightyear. Trust me, mate, you are in a different world. You don't realize this. You're in a world called the Joey Essex world. Right now, you, are, you think this is a dream, but it's not a dream. Your thoughts are becoming your real imagination. Like even, even me talking right now, like, is this real? I don't think it is. Like, am I wearing six silk? Who knows? I told one mate, I said, listen mate, I'm not gonna lie. I know you've come around here and you've told me the most weirdest thing of my whole life. I feel like I'm now in a dream. I said, well, I've actually for real got to go on loose women. So, for real, a car did pick me up. Matte black Jeep with um, a chauffeur wearing a black suit. And I was wearing a, um, what they're called? What's that thing called? A boiler suit. I was wearing a blue boiler suit. I get to Loose Women, all of a sudden, I've just realised I'm not actually doing Loose Women, I'm doing Loose Men. I thought, what is this? Is there even such thing as Loose Men? Anyway, there is. So we was the Loose Men. So we're all sitting down, we're getting on, you know, doing the panel, you know, talking about Loose Men and how loose we are and pretty loose. And then um, we finished it, took a little smudge. Do you know what I mean? Had a little picture, what's going on? What's happening, what's happening? We finished around, this was, we're talking now about, you know, four o'clock, 4 p.m. I rung a bird. I rung the bird up and I said, Do you want me to come pick you up? So the bird goes, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, when I picked up the bird, well, when I say bird, obviously, I don't mean like a parrot or like a, you know what I mean? Like a blue tit, I mean like a girl. That's what we say in Essex, we call them birds. We've gone for a little shot around Harrods, you know, in Selfridges. Anyway, I said, babe, do you know what? I said, let's just go home. We get in the car, and then the chauffeur takes me and my bird, the girl, not an actual bird, all the way back to Essex. I said, babe, like, do you want to get something to eat? She said, yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyway, I cooked her up like a nice roast dinner. And what did I actually cook her that day? I cooked her cheese on toast. Mm. That's what I cooked her. So I said, babe, do you want your favorite? Do you know what I mean? Not even, it wasn't even her favorite. I just, I thought it was. She did love it. She went, do you know what? I think we should just maybe like, watch a film or something. I said, yeah, definitely, let's watch a film. What sort of films do you like? She said, I like scary films. I said, scary films? I said, I ain't watching no scary films, mate. This is, I'm trying to have a good day. I've already been, do you know what I mean? I'm having a crazy day already. I've seen Buzz Lightyear a few hours ago. Do you know what I mean? Just done loose men, like, chill out. So we watched this really romantic film. We're sitting there, we're cuddling, we're kissing. You know what? Had a little fiddle and that. I've gone to her, babe, what do you want to do? Do you want some popcorn and that? She's gone, she's gone to me, yeah, I love popcorn. So we popped some corn. Put it in the microwave, pop, pop, pop. Get the mic, get the uh, microwave out the popcorn, I'll get the popcorn out the microwave. And then we went and sat and watched the movie again. So we're watching this movie and it finally ended. The popcorn was all gone. She says to her, babe, why don't we go like get some more snacks, like popcorn now? I said, definitely, let's go. So anyway, got in the Range Rover, matte black, put my arm up, put my seatbelt on. I said, baby, ready to go? She said, yeah, I said, let's go. So we drive to Tesco 24 seven. It's only like five minutes down the road from Chigwell. We've got some bananas, got some popcorn, got some beans, got some cheese, got some toast. Turn the engine on, and then all of a sudden, the phone starts ringing. Who could this actually be? Do you know what I mean? Like, who's gonna call me at 2.30 in the morning? I've looked at my phone. It's Michael Jackson's brother. And she said, what? Basically, I had done loose men earlier, 
and it was with Martin Kemp, Joel Dominic, and Michael Jackson's brother. And after the show, we all took a smudge, and straight afterwards, he turned to me and said, Hey, Joel, can I, can I take your number? He must have dropped called me because I had it saved under my phone as Michael Jackson's brother. So I've answered the phone. I said, Michael Jackson's brother, is that you? And he said, yeah. Well, he didn't say yeah, he went, yeah, it's me. Hello. I said, you are right, Michael Jackson's brother? And he said, he said, yeah, I'm, I'm okay. How are you, Joey? I think. Well, I was gonna ask you if you wanted to come to one of my, my skits with my bros in, um, I think he said Canterbury. I think he said Canterbury. Why have you caught, you do realize it is 2.30 a.m. in the morning. And, I, and I, I, I forgot his name by this, this point. So I said, what, I mean, I've got you under Michael Jackson's brother. What's your name again? He said, his name's Mar Mar Marlon, Merlon, Merlin. That's weird, isn't it? I think he said he's Marlon. Anyway, I said, well, I've, I've, I don't know if I've got enough time to, you know, come and see you tonight or tomorrow. And he said, oh my God, I can't, I can't believe it. The, the time, is, I'm, I can't believe it. And I said, I oh, know, I can't believe it either, mate. I've just come out of Tesco. I was when I bought some cheese toast beans and crisps and popcorn and I've got Michael Jackson's brother ringing me in my car. I said, with my bird, and he was like, oh. And I said, look, I, without, without being rude, I would come to your gig, um, but I've actually got a game of basketball to play with my mates in the morning, if you fancy coming to play a bit of basketball in my garden with me and my pals. Why, you want to play some ball? And I said, yeah, I, 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 do you know how to play ball? He said, yeah, I love ball. And I said, all right, mate, well, you know, be at mine at 11 a.m. tomorrow morning. Anyway, we got home, went to bed, Woke up, all my friends come round the next day about, I don't know, 11 a.m. and Michael Jackson's brother swerved me. Never turn up. I told Michael Jackson's brother I will not go to his gig, right? Because I wasn't, I was truthful, I was an honest man. He lied to me. He told me that he would be at mine 11 a.m. pronto, on the spot. So if Michael Jackson's brother, Merlin, Mer Marlin, I don't hold grudges, so if you want to call me up anytime soon, call me up, we'll have a chat, and we'll squash the beef. Wallop. If you like my story, then make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. Bye.